Hi, my name is Meg Sparling. I'm a PhD candidate in English at UC Davis. So I'm just going to dive right in because uh, I want to be brief. So I've been asked first, what does supportive faculty graduate student mentorship look like in terms of things like career trajectories and mental health issues? And I would say that from my perspective, from the beginning of the official relationship between an advisor and a graduate student, I think there should be open and ongoing dialogue about things like career plans, mental health issues, and other problems that arise during degree programs. I think that faculty should be familiar with campus resources and share those with their students. I also believe that they should try to be open about the challenges that they faced and continue to face in academia in order to reassure and connect with their graduate students to try to bridge the divide that I see between the experiences of faculty and the experiences of graduate students. Uh, I know faculty are not mental health experts, nor should they uh, be expected to be. Uh, and they are also not experts in alternative academic jobs for the most part. But I feel like they should encourage grads to turn to those experts to decrease the stigma surrounding those topics. And in terms of having the degree feed into other types of work, I think that faculty should know about scholars in their own field who do types of uh, public work. And they should know uh, what their previous mentees are doing with their degrees and what other department graduates are doing with their degrees. Uh, and share that with their graduate students in order to de decrease the stigma surrounding avoiding the tenure track uh, and avoid perpetuating notions of failure. They should uh, be supportive and acknowledge also um, what might be their own limitations in expertise and know where to send people for guidance. So I've also been asked uh, to talk about how I empower myself to have a more beneficial and productive relationship with my faculty mentors and uh, within the space of the university. And I would say that first, I've been both successful and rather unsuccessful with this issue. I've been lucky enough to find faculty mentors who empower me more successfully than others might have. Uh, I was very strategic about the faculty mentors that I chose, uh, not just in terms of their scholarly work, but also I really reflected on what types of people they seem to be during casual conversation uh, and in conversation about topics like self-care and work-life balance. I chose to work with professors who seemed like they had lives outside of academia uh, happy lives, a sense of critical distance about what the academic life demands of you, and who seemed like they would be supportive of me when I came to them with problems that I was having, even emotional problems or personal problems. That was a really big criteria for me, and I, I know that it's not the same for everyone, but it was for me. So uh, that said, I have also been unsuccessful in empowering myself during the degree. I've experienced depression during uh, the writing of my dissertation, and I felt alienated from my department's academic traditionalism, like my experience was vastly different from the faculty's perception of what my experience should be and different from their own experience, and that's been difficult. But finally, I would say that I feel a little resistance uh, against this question of what graduate students should do because I feel that one, there is an ongoing conversation happening online and on campuses about what graduate students can do to empower themselves. And I'm, ex I'm exposed to that conversation all the time. But two, because I would rather talk about something that we seem to hardly ever talk about, which is how faculty can create a more empowering and supportive environment for their graduate students in their department and on campus. Asking, I mean, asking to, for me, asking what graduate students can do about this issue is like asking what the exploited and disempowered should do about their own exploitation. 
instead of asking what those in position of power and privilege can do and should do. For me, faculty are responsible for creating the culture in their programs and bridging that experiential divide that I see that seems to me to be ever increasing between faculty experience and graduate student experience. I would like faculty to start taking more responsibility for responding to this divide and working alongside graduate students to help improve the state of graduate education. So I have more to say and probably to clarify also, but I'll leave it at that for now. Thank you for listening.